Howdy folks and welcome to episode 22 of Sky Factory 2.5. I'm just out here overseeing everything that I have here. I am a, I'm loving this flying. Um, the Zavisio armor, awesome. I went and put a little glass AFK spot up here. Uh, and this isn't going to work. We've got to get rid of this. So to get rid of that... I need to make myself a, oh, what's the darn thing called? Chunk loader, right? I think that's right. So we're going to see if we have the materials for a chunk loader. Let's see here. Uh, is it, hey, right there, right in the top. Oh, well, that's incredibly cheap. Is that really it? Well, here's a mine factory chunk loader. What's the difference? Spot loader. And ch -ch -ch. these are technical blocks. Eh. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, we'll just make this one because it's the cheap one. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to see if this will do the job <clears throat> excuse me uh i also went ahead and made a zavisio sword it's just like the diamond armor uh you get a diamond sword and you surround it the same way this thing has a plus 14 attack on it I, that's a little nuts i love it <laughs> we're gonna use it okay and take out all these guys there we go. Alright. I don't want to land on the fertile soil. Because if you land on the fertile soil, it breaks it. Uh, fertile soil cannot handle... It's just like uh, any tilled dirt. Any tilled dirt, whenever you jump on it, it untills it. It's the same thing with the fertile soil. I found that out by accident. Alright. Oops. Oops. There we go. Okay, it didn't break. <laughs> I want to set this guy... Uh, uh, well, I guess right here. Like that. And then... Eh, show the lasers. That's what I want to see. Uh, and I want to do square. All right, let's see how much area this is covering. It is not... Okay, yeah, it's not covering everything I want it to cover. Oh, that's why, because for some reason it's over here. So I need to expand it just a little bit. So we'll right-click on it again. Four. Wow, uh, okay. Let's see what happens when I change it to a circle. Alright. As a circle. Okay, now it's covering the entire Minicio farm and then some. <laughs> and it's okay that it's covering extra area. I don't mind that. I just wanted to make sure that all nine of these were covered. I also figured out what was going on with the uh, farming stations when all of the... Uh, fully grown weren't getting harvested it's because the hose had broken you have to keep a hoe inside of the farming station for it to work we need to turn off these lasers this is going to drive me nuts hide the lasers thank you <laughs> all right that should be it uh it should be just fine now i haven't looked at this thing in a little while i went and put a chest on top of it and filled it with the eulorium and it looks like it's still working just fine. Uh, we're not having any problems with power. Oh wait, let me uh, let me take a look at this. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're not having any power problems at all. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this new mob farm that's over here. And the way I'm going to do this mob farm, I want what was it going to be? It was going to be a grinder, right? Uh, Okay, we have the, oh, Draconic Evolution. I don't have anything Draconic, so no. 
Uh, grinder and quartz grindstone. I don't think it's that. It must be this. So, what's this going to cost me? An Invar sword. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make one of those. <laughs> wow. Um, what is this? Sag mill. Add grinding bowl. Okay. I don't know about that. Um... I should have books in there. I should have some tin gears. I should have that. I should have all this. And I do. Excellent. Alright. So now I need to uh, make a power source for it. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves another tesseract. Excellent. And we're going to need resonant ender. Now we're going to come over this way. Yeah, I'm flying just above the ground man i love this thing <laughs> this is so great i love it uh let's see here not in that bag this bag uh no oh it's still downstairs <laughs> duh all right walking <laughs> can't go through an elevator while you're flying there we go okay so first we've got to fill it Take out our bucket, and we're going to switch it back over to fill the Tesseract. This ought to be fun. Let's watch it fill. Let's not. <laughs> Forget that. Uh, put the bucket back in there, because I don't need that right now. Hmm, is there anything else? No, there really isn't. It's just the Tesseract and the grinder, really. That's all I need. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's, uh, there's something else. I need to make some fans. Uh, because the fans, these little guys right here, will push the mobs through blocks. Not push the mobs through blocks, but the, uh, blowing from the fans goes through blocks to push mobs. And they're really cheap to make. Uh, let's make some. Ten. I don't think that's going to cut it. I should probably make some more iron bars. Uh, so we'll just throw a couple in here. Uh, Alright, let's make a couple more fans. There we go. That's too many. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now I need some slabs. Uh, there we go. Uh, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of them. And I also want some redstone dust. Uh, one more. And do I have a... Oh, good. I have some. I only need one. Well, you know what? I'll just take them all. That's fine. We can do that. All right. This guy should be done now. Yep, sure is. All right. Let's throw them back in here. And uh, back to the Tesseract. We've got to go ahead and do that. And there we go. We now have the Tesseract, Grinder, and all kinds of other goodies. So we're going to come back up here, fly on over. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to pop a hole in here. Did he see me? I don't think he saw me. All right, face the right way. Good, excellent. All right, now, in order for this to work, I have to have an output for the essence that it gathers. So I'm gonna need probably a drum on there. Uh, I forgot a drum. Let me go grab a drum. Eh. Which, I don't have any drums. I already know I don't. I have to make them. Okay. We'll just do a regular drum. There we go. Good. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> Moving on. Alright. Come back over here. Now, I think I'll put the Tesseract below it. Can I do that? Please, thank you. Where's my Tesseract? Thank you. Alright, Tesseract right there. We're going to configure it to our channel that we're using. 
we're going to uh, send items. I don't have fluid set up yet. I need to get like a fluid drive or something like that in the ME system so that I can just send all of the essence straight in. Which, that's probably something we're going to work on another time. Uh, so this guy should be powered now? Yes, excellent. I should be able to just throw the drum on the back there. And there's no configuration of this. Uh, and, oh, 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 that's what the problem is. Okay, I need a vacuum chest. Uh, I need to make a vacuum chest. So we're going to come back over here again. And we're going to make a vacuum chest. Okay, here we go. This guy right here. Do I have any of those? Yes, excellent. Okay. Uh, now I need... Uh, my T isn't working. Okay. So that's fluid duct. Okay, that's not what I want. It must be in my bag. Okay, uh, hardened fluid duct, item duct, impulse item duct. That'll work. I don't need, I don't need to see it work. Um, and I only need one. I also need a servo. Okay, good. All right, that should be it. Okay. So now, I want to come back over here again. Because, uh, does this thing... I don't think this thing picks up items. I don't know if these mobs will drop items, to be honest, since they're being killed by the grinder. I don't know. Huh. Well, you know what? We're going to... Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um... Oh, crap. Dude, what did you shoot me with? <laughs> that was not cool. Uh, vacuum chest. Eh, there we go. Okay. Picked up my glass. <laughs> that was not cool. Alright. I'm going to throw the item duct right here. Put the servo on it. And there we go. Excellent. So it should now, if any items get picked up, uh, or if the mobs drop any items rather, should get picked up and sent right on in. No problem. Okay, now we need to get on with the slabs. Uh, first things first, we're going to make sure nothing else can shoot at us. Uh, you can't see me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hiding from that creeper. I don't want him blowing up in there. Because he keeps spotting me and keeps trying to run over here. And that's just not cool. And done. Okay. Creeper can't see me now. Okay, where is my dirt level? My dirt level is here. So... I'm going to put this... No, wrong already. Give me that back. Break already. Ooh. Okay, there. Okay, so we're going to put three of them here. Uh, and before I take off in another direction, I'm going to go ahead and put these fans down right here so that nothing spawns on the outside. And why are they facing that way? Why? Oh, why are you doing this to me? Alright, give me that. Oh. Okay. Will you place now? There we go. Okay, let me see if I can get this guy. There we go. And <clears throat> I want this one to push like that. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Okay, back to flying. <laughs> Alright, what level is that at? Okay, right there. So now I'm going to put a line of slabs along the back here. And we're going to do the same thing back here. We're going to drop all these fans in. Okay. And we'll just try to straighten these out as much as possible.
or make a horrible mess of them. <laughs> That's fine too. All right, last two. All right, those are in. Now I need to get three more. Uh, where was it? Okay, yeah, it's right here. One, two, and three. Too high. Okay. Now this fan is the one that I wanted at an angle. So we'll just, uh, eh, there we go. Straight and straight. All right. Now to power these guys, I'm going to go ahead and set this right here and we'll get a bit of redstone. We don't need any more fans. And we're going to throw some redstone right along the back here. Put one more and a lever. Lever. Stick in a brick. <laughs> it's a stick in a brick. Those should be on now. Uh, I don't see it making a bit of difference. Let me try putting these on the back back here and see if these are working. And there's that part. Because these fans are supposed to be redstone powered. Uh, set our stick in a brick right there, turn it on. Everything should be pushed against glass. It's not moving, which means that this is not going to work. Crap. Am I missing something here? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. There's something wrong with this. Oh, okay, good. So, we'll just uh, pick all this back up. Like, so, I don't think I need this many fans, so we're going to do that, uh, we're going to leave two there, and we're going to pop out this one, there we go, and we're going to leave two, pop out this one, and, uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. We'll take that one out. Alright. Now, I just go and put my sticks in a brick right there. I'm going to take off this back row of slabs. Because clearly it's not doing what I want it to do anyway. And we have to make these full blocks underneath the fans. Which is easy enough. Just put the slabs underneath them. Come on, come on. The downside to the flying is it treats your breaking blocks like you're moving. Uh, like you're swimming. So it takes a lot longer to do things. Okay, whoops. Too many. Oh well, I don't care. Uh, no, I do care. Get off of there. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I can turn these guys on. And with these on, now they should be pushed against the glass. Yeah, you see them getting pushed? Okay, so that's that works. Which means I need to take off this guy right here. Wow. That is a durable one. <laughs> okay, got that. Now we'll take out these off the back side here. Okay, one more. Alright. Put them underneath to make them full blocks. Take out this guy. Today. Ugh. Okay, got it. Sticking a brick and on. So now it should be pushing them off in that direction. Okay, I see the guy back there getting pushed. They're not getting pushed very well. 
Huh. Well, I mean, it's... It's okay. It'll be fine. I'm not overly concerned about it because this doesn't appear to be an item farm. This looks like it's only going to give me um, essence. So, essence farm it is. Which means I'll need a fluid duct to go into there. So, I should probably make a fluid drive. Do a... Uh, well, let me see here. If I just type in fluid, and okay, for the ME fluid assembler fluid interface, that is something I need. Okay, um, fluid autofiller, no. Fluid storage bus. Okay, this is going to get a little complicated. All right, fluid drive. Oh, man. Okay. Can I make that? All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to need... There's one, two, and three. Um, but to make this... Okay. Can I make that? Oh, I don't have it. Okay. Yeah, I can't make it right away. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get the uh, parts together off camera so that I can make this thing. Okay, but this is working. Jeez, uh, it is working. I'm getting a lot of essence in there pretty quickly. Oh, look at that. It's pushing me. <laughs> I go right up against the glass here, and then I let go, and it pushes me out. All right. So does that mean that this side's working? If I come over here. No, I'm not getting pushed over here. Huh. Oh cool, the fans actually move. <laughs> That's neat. Alright. Well. Yeah, the zombie's trying to run away from the grinder. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that is awesome. But yeah, it doesn't look like this actually um, gets items. It looks like it's only doing essence. And that's okay. I'm not, like I said, I'm not uh, too terribly concerned about it. But that would be that. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's done. I just need to make a fluid drive to put in the uh, ME. So that we can transfer everything from that drum straight into the ME system. And then I'm I'm probably going to use a different uh, Tesseract for it. A different channel. Because, oh, uh, well, no. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the same channel to put the fluid in the ME. But whenever I go and make individual mob farms, then I will use different tesseracts, uh, different channels. That way it'll be able to pull the fluid out and put it in the uh, spawners for the individual mob farms. But I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Uh, I'm trying to keep the episode a little bit shorter. My last few have been kind of long. So, we're going to go ahead and call it here. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.